This is a hard place for me. Um, throughout my addiction in the downtown east side, these alleys were kind of my stomping ground. These alleys were where I would come to sit and do my drugs. I started coming in the downtown east side when I was about 15 years old. I had a I had about a $400 a day um, crack and heroin addiction that I needed to feed. I would do anything it took to keep from feeling sick, to maintain, and to feed my addiction. And then when I had my daughter, I got hooked in with the YWCA Crabtree Corner. And I myself was homeless at the time with my child, and I just thought, what a great way for my daughter to escape our homelessness was for her to go to the daycare. Um, and that's originally how I got hooked in with the Y. And then I started attending the single moms group with Brenda Lavelli. When I first started attending the single moms group, I felt a sigh of relief. I felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I suddenly felt supported. It was really good to know that there were other moms in the same position as me and moms that have been there, done that, and they have survived and got the strength from the YWCA to carry on. It's a real mix. We have a lot of single mothers that come. We have uh, quite, a, quite a few immigrant women and um, we also have some families that are working but on very low income. A mum might be just coming in for childcare information, but really she's needing a lot more than that. Once you start talking about their children, you can sort of you know, work your way into finding out about where are they living, what's, you know, what's going on at home, you know, what support do they have, and from there you can lead them sort of in the right direction. This is a picture I have of myself from my addiction. I was 20 years old. I was on the streets. Um, my way of living was not good. And I keep this picture around to remind myself of where I was then and how far I've come today. This picture really helps keep things real for me. It's needed so desperately because it's a safe place for a lot of the women. It's somewhere that they have friendship, support, um, and for a lot of the women, it, it is their family. They have nothing else. Once I got myself into the single moms group, I started realizing that I needed, I needed to work. I started applying for jobs. When I found out I was accepted for the job co-facilitating the FASD groups, I felt empowered, I felt proud, I felt strong. It felt good knowing that I could support my daughter. The women I work with are wonderful. They're amazing, they're resilient, they're strong and they're survivors. I learn a lot from them. I don't know where I would be now without Crabtree and you know it gave me that enthusiasm to, to do something else with my life so yeah. It's easy for me to talk about because it's done great things for me and for many others. Yeah. Coming from the background I've come from and coming from these streets, it breaks my heart to see the women that are still out there, that are stuck in addiction, that are being hurt, that are being assaulted. If this facility wasn't here, These women of the downtown east side wouldn't have support. The children wouldn't have support. This is a safe haven in the middle of craziness.